Hey guys, um, it's me, Stephanie. I said this um, in my last declutter video. I'm doing a decluttering series because I've been um, trying to go through my makeup that I've collected over the last year and sort of see what I'm using, what I'm not using. Because a lot of this stuff I did get in Ipsy's and Boxy Charms and Birch Boxes and all this stuff. And if I'm not using it, then I'd rather you know put it towards somebody or give it to somebody that will use it um so I um, am definitely going to donate to either a sister or a friend or a family member or something like that um if I or sell I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna do that um so this uh, this episode of the decluttering is um, my blushes bronzers and highlighters. Now I don't have a huge amount. Um, these are all of my highlighters in this. Um, they're kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, this is pretty much all of my blushes with this one and um, my bronzers are all in this drawer, um, the remaining rem remnants of the drawer. So I'm just kind of going to go through and talk about what I have and what I use and what I don't use and kind of decide what I'm going to do with it all. Um, so I'm probably going to do the same thing where I put um, the stuff that I'm keeping on one side, the stuff that I'm not keeping on the other. Um, it's just easier to, you know, mentally figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping that way. Sorry, my hair is like super flat. I'm trying to figure out how I want to wear it today. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, so let's do blushes first just because I have them sitting right here and I'll go through them and I'll sort of tell you guys um, what I think. So um, I just recently got the dark palette from um, e.l.f. and I have the light palette previously. Now I haven't had a chance to really use these thoroughly um, but I have heard that these are really good quality blushes and the times that I have used them I really like them. This is the light palette. Um, so it has um, lighter colors, so it's more for fair skin. Um, it's also more, um, in my opinion, the shades are very summery. Um, there's this one has like a lot of like glitter in it, so it's very, um, it's just a very summery shade. Um, but this one right here is, you know, is a little bit deeper, so. Um, so it is a mix. Now in the light, in the dark palette. The, the colors are obviously a lot darker. Um, this is, um, but they're really, really pretty. Um, super pigmented. Um, you can see right there, that was just one swatch. Um, so I'll have to play with this a little bit. Again, it has like a glittery shade right here. Um, but I really do like these colors, so I'm really excited to play with this. And um, I don't feel like I have that many um, variety of blush colors. You'll see in a bit. Um, I kind of have like the same colors. So I'm trying to really expand my collection and, um, you know, get rid of the dupes of everything that I have. Um, so let me just take that off. Okay, so the next thing I have here that's just sitting here is this. And, and I'm sorry, I didn't say this, but I am going to keep these two palettes. So this is going to be the next thing I have is this uh, Hikari blush, and it's a really pretty blight, blight. It's a really pretty bright pink color, um, and you can see it right there. It's really pigmented. Um, it's in Tango, and I don't think I have a blush that's this color, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. Um, the next thing that I have in here is these two Tarte blushes. Now, unfortunately, I don't really reach for these two too often. I have Pampered and Savored, and these were both in their Holiday 2014 collection, um, so that's why I have them. But they're the only Tarte blushes that I have. Um, this is the one in Pampered, and it's a really pretty blush. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with them. I just don't feel like I wear them, and I feel bad about that. But at the same time, there's obviously a reason. This one um, in Savored is very, very pretty, um, and it's not one that I really have. It's a little bit darker, deeper. Um, this blush, I feel like I have like three of the same color. 
Um, so I will have to see. Um, I'm going to hold this one because I don't know. I don't know about it. I haven't decided yet. But I think I'm going to hold on to this one. This one is savored for now. This is a blush in Model Co. in Peach Bellini. And it's this really pretty um, uh, peachy blush with a sort of, um, with that like golden flake to it. Um, so it does have a bit of like a sheen to it. It's very, very pigmented. It's the one right there. Um, it's super pigmented. It's super beautiful. Um, but I want to actually compare to my cargo blush that I have. And this one is in Los Cabos. And I love this blush. So I kind of want to see. They're very similar. They're very, very similar. Um... You know what, and let me, let me actually swatch the Tarte blush too because I feel like this is very similar as well. So yeah. So I think I'm going to get rid of the, I'm going to pass this one on because I have a bunch that are this color-ish and I honestly like these two better. Um, the Model Co. and the, the Los Cabos better. Um, so let me actually, I know I have a MAC blush that's also very similar. Um, I've kind of discovered that I have this one color that I have in like everything. So I'm going to swatch this and see sort of the color of this. See, this one's a lot lighter actually. Yeah. So this is actually a different color. This one does have like a sheen to it though. This is MAC in Peachy Keen. <sighs> no, I'm gonna hold on to this one. Well, definitely, this is my, one of my MAC blushes. I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I don't, what am I gonna do with this model called blush? I don't know. I like it, but I don't use it. Hmm. And I love, I love Los Cabos. I'm definitely keeping Los Cabos because I use this all the time. And it's super perfect to travel with. And also, this is magnetic. So I've actually been putting, holding it in my Z palette. So it just like goes in. I have another um, eyeshadow from them, from um, Cargo. And it's in Yukon. And I have that in here too. Um that I've been keeping in here. So I'm gonna hold on to Los Cabos, definitely. Put that over there. And I keep the lid because I like to, if I'm going to travel with it, I wanna have the lid for it. So I actually keep this with the rest of the blushes so that I know where it is. Um, I'm gonna put this off to the side, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the middle and I'm gonna um, say goodbye to this one. Um, sorry guys, it's taking a long time. Longer than I thought. This was harder than I thought. Um, there. I have uh, Desert Rose, which I just got um, this weekend. Flush All Day. And I have Peachy Keen. So I'm going to do these together. Okay, so this is Peachy Keen, which I already swatched, but I don't feel like I got a good swatch of it. Oh, you know what? This is very, very similar to this Peach Bellini. You know what, I'm going to hold on to my MAC and get rid of the model code because I don't use it and I want someone else to use it. So this is in Blush All Day and it's sort of a more um, neutral shade. It's sort of like a brown color. Um, it's like a deep, deep pink. Um, so that's blush all day, and I love these. Um, this I actually bought at a CCO, um, so it was cheaper than the normal MAC blushes. I don't remember how much it was, but I can, um, I'll post my CCO haul below so that you can check it out. This is brand new. This is Desert Rose, so I'm definitely keeping this one. So this is, um, sort of that, um, dusty pink, um, rose color. <laughs> 
sorry, Desert Rose. Did I call it Dusty Rose? Desert Rose. Um, and both of these are, this is a Pro Longwear blush. It doesn't say it's matte or not, but this one is matte. This is a matte. And this one is Shimmer Blush. So, definitely like those ones. What I'm going to do is this Mega Glow Wet n Wild blush. And this is in 346 Strike a Pose. I haven't been using this one a lot. It's super beautiful though. Um, it's really, really pigmented. It's the one right there. Um, and it's definitely a deep fall color. So I'm going to have to play around with this because um, basically how it works is there's one, two, three, four shades. And when you mix them together, it creates this beautiful berry color. But you can um, use like two at a time instead of um, using all of them with this darker color. So I really love these. They're like four or five dollars at uh, at like CVS or or Target or whatever. So and they're super super good. I have um, this one and then I have a highlighter that I will show you guys in a bit. But I really really like them. Um not doing very well. Um, this is an e.l.f. blush that I again don't really use. I think I got this this is in Blushing Rose and I got this um, at like TJ Maxx or something. It was like on sale at TJ Maxx. It's pretty but I feel like I have this one and I have my MAC blushes. I don't really think I need this. So I'm gonna get rid of Blushing Rose. I like and I have the, the e.l.f. blushes in these palettes, so I'm sure that there's a color that's similar to that in the palette that I can choose from in there. So this is a Sephora blush. I don't even want to open it. I just got it all over my bed, and my boyfriend is going to kill me. But this is in Romantic Rose. It's falling apart because I accidentally tried to depot it, and then it got all messed up. It's a really pretty pink. Um, that's what it looks like. Just a nice, pretty pink. This is what it looks like. It looks like a mess right now. I'm really mad at myself. Um, so my next blush in Paradise Pink. And... It's a really bright pink. That's not a good swatch. It's a really bright, bright, bright pink. It's really pretty. Um, I really like it a lot. I don't use it that often because it is so bright. But um, if you use a light hand with it, then it should be okay. Um, but I really like it. Um... I have a few more powdered blushes and then I'm going to get into my cream blushes. Um, so this is in the color Terracotta Treasure. And it's this really bright, dark terracotta color. Um, it's again very pretty. Um, I really like it, obviously. So yeah, definitely going to hold on to that. I just got it this past spring and I didn't really use it because it's more of a dark winter color and so I've been waiting sort of for the fall to use it. Um, this is um, pretty much my only really light color. This is in Peach Blossom and it's this beautiful light pink. Um, it's very very light but um, I like it a lot because it's that perfect like just blush look. Um, I have the Sweet Sweethearts Too Faced um, blush in Candy Glow, and that's what this looks like. It's three different colors, and you swirl it around, and it's a very shimmery, shimmery, really bright pink. Um, that's what it comes off as and it's again three different colors you can swirl it around or you can just use the colors individually um, but 
it, it's very, very pretty. It's a very pretty blush. So I'm going to hold on to that. Okay. So now we're getting into my cream blushes. I don't wear cream blushes. I, it, I don't know if it's that. I don't really know how to use them properly or I just don't really like cream products. I don't reach for cream products. I really like having powder. Um, so let me start with that saying that but I'm going to go through the ones that I have. So this is um, the Stila convertible color in Peony and I know it's like one of their cult, you know, their cream blushes are sort of, they're known for them. Um, it's a really, really pretty like dusty rose color. Um, that's what it looks like. I, I hate to say it though, I never reach for it. Um, I also have another one um, from Doll 10. And this is the color. It's super bright. Um, it's very, very pretty. I just, I just got it too, so it's kind of like I want to play around with it, but also I know that I probably won't wear it. Because um, I've had this one for a while and I never wear it. Um, I think I'm going to say goodbye to these, which hurts me. But I feel like I can always, if I get into cream blushes again, I can always go out and get another one. Um, this is another little sample cream blush that I got from uh, Jouer and I got it in like a boxy, uh, no, an Ipsy and this is in um, the tint Petal and it's supposed to be a convertible color so it's supposed to be like for your lips and for um, your cheeks. I probably would never use this for my lips just because if I'm going to use it as one I don't want to use it as the other. It's very... Um, it's brighter, but it's similar to this um, Doll 10 color. Um, actually, I'm going to hold on to this because it is so small. And if I do want to play around with a cream blush, I want to have like something to use. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Uh, this cream blush in... These aren't really a cream blushes. I guess they are. They're, this is the Shimmer Souffle. And it's in Watermelon Moonstone, so it's a mix of Watermelon, which is a blush color, and then Moonstone, which is one of the Becca, this is a Becca product, one of the Becca, of, what are they called? Shimmering Skin Perfectors. This, um, I don't have Moonstone on its own either. Um, so, and this, the consistency of this is really, really soft. Um, I have actually reached for this a few times um, just to like play with it a bit and so I think I'm going to hold on to this one because um, I feel like I will use this. If not as in a blush then as like a blush topper or something like that. Um, the next thing I have here is this Jane Iridelli, um High In Touch Highlight in Comfort which this is what it looks like. And it's a very, very pretty. Um, that's what it swatches as, which you can't really see it. That's what it swatches as. Um, it's actually very similar to watermelon, watermelon uh, moonstone, but it is a little bit uh, more highlighty. It's a little bit brighter. Um, there's more of a sheen to it. So I am going to hold on to this because I do like to use it sometimes over blush as sort of a blush topper. So I have used this before. Um, this is a cream blush, liquid face defender blush, Mally in Mimosa. And I have never used this and I don't know if I will. Um, whoa, I was not expecting it to be that color either. Um... Yeah, definitely not going to keep this one. This is super bright. Um, I wouldn't even know how to begin to use this. Uh, 
I just don't think that would work for my skin color. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this off. That I have here is another Becca Beach tint. I got this in one of the Becca um like favorites type packages from Ulta. Um, it was one that was like happening in the springtime or before the summer or something. Um, so this is in the color Guava. It's a really, really, really pretty um, pink color. It's super blendable. Um, it's very, very easy to use. Um, I'm going to hold on to this because it does work really well for days that I don't really want to wear makeup. Um, and I just want a little something on my cheeks. And it blends really, really easily um, and really nicely into the skin. So I am going to hold on to this one. Um, um, the next thing, I'm not even going to swatch. I'm just going to get rid of. This is a shimmering facial whip. And I'm pretty sure I got this at the dollar store. It's from e.l.f. I don't like this product. Um, I got it because I like needed something for my cheeks. It's in um, persimmon. To persimmon. Um, I got it for my cheeks one day um, for work when I just was like running to the store because I forgot um, a blush. So I just used this really quickly and it worked for that day but I never use it and I'm never going to so I'm going to pass that on. The last two blush items that I have and I'm realizing this is going to be a long video but um, the last two blush items that I have are these two color pop um, blushes I have the color uh, tongue tied and I also have the color hysterical and this is again that like mauvey pink color now these blushes are a little bit hard to use they're very very pigmented which isn't a bad thing, but it's also like you have to like really use a light hand with them. Um, but they're very, very pretty and um, they're very soft. But these are the two colors that I have. Um, this one is tongue tied, the brighter one, and then this one is hysterical. And I really like these blushes. Um, I definitely want to get more. This was in the Bloom palette that they have. Uh, not palette, but set that they had at the springtime. I don't know if they have it anymore, the In Bloom set. Um, so that goes, all these will go back into my blush container and hopefully be a little bit more organized now that I got rid of some of my ones that I haven't been using. So 